My name is Nanjo Nzaya Kathari. I'm in primary seven at Shuwalira Ame Primary School. In Corona, I've been using the radio. I listen to a math lesson, science lessons, English. Grandma sometimes, if she has money, used to buy for me the newspapers. I read them with my young sister. At our school here, the UNICEF gave us the mobilization, computers, loudspeakers. I get time to come here after doing my work at home. We use the mobile station to access the information on Coribri, and Coribri is a program uploaded with the digital lessons. You select what you want and you can hear and see. So me, I select audiovisual because the class is inclusive. And I like coming to this mobile station because when I use the mobile station, it does not require internet. We learn English, read stories, because if I learn English, I can even get better marks in every subject. The advantages of using that mobile station is that the, the notes can be revisited. Even we can learn without the teacher. I want them to add a small devices because seven, five children, they use one mobile station and even the looms are few. When I grow up, I want to be a lawyer. I want also to sit in those big offices. They, they drive me and they can take me to, to judge the, the suspect. Okay, members, uh, you are all welcome to this session. Uh, we are having the Edify Teachers e-learning training, uh, which started last week. And uh, today we are going to be looking at a very important subject, which has been um, in that preamble video. Uh, we have, uh, we are going to be starting right away the time uh, because we have a lot to cover. One of the things that is in that video, there are a few things that you should be in your mind. One, uh, Desire, who is talking in that video, is a child from a rural setting uh, who has been affected by COVID when schools were closed. But, uh, but uh, when that happened, this learner could uh, get good access to computer at their school called the mobile station, which had the offline digital content. Um, that without internet, learners could go and access materials. That station was built using a software called Colibri. Colibri is a uh, software for, for making a digital library, which can be accessed offline uh, on computers. Many of us have school, computers at school. We have computer labs, but the only thing on those computer labs is Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint. There's nothing like reading content there. The learners can only go there and play games on the computers. So in this session, we are going to be, we are going to be discussing more on how we can transform our computers uh, into digital libraries, which can have content learners can use uh, offline, even when they don't have internet. So uh, at this time, I would like to uh, invite uh, our presenter for today, Mr. Well, uh, you can start sharing your screen and uh, then uh, you introduce this particular topic that you are going to be handling. Mr. Gwal, you are welcome. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Mukare Rogers. Uh, greetings to every participant who is around. I'd like to thank you all for turning up this uh, for this particular workshop. And I would also like to continue to thank you for uh, your continuous love for uh, digital learning 
and transformation. So uh, just as Mr. Mukarele Rogers has said, uh, today is quite an interesting day with a very, very uh, nice topic that we should not uh, just look at it in terms of uh, content, but uh, we expect that after today's uh, training, because the day will go up to 6 p.m. So after this training, we expect that we really be uh, uh, people who can change our institutions and uh, we move on with this current situation that we are in right now. So uh, to begin, I will greet you once more. And I will say my name is Kogwal Isaac. I'm also a teacher. So our topic today is about uh, building a Colibri powered library. Uh, I will have these three questions for our session. Uh, the first question is maybe someone out there may be asking uh, himself or herself, what are we learning today? What is this Colibri uh, powered library all about? Yes, this is one of the questions that we are going to answer today by the end of this training. Then you may also be asking your, yourself, why should I go ahead and, uh, and learn this Colibri? Uh, that question as well will, will be answered in this uh, session. So uh, I'm going to a little bit uh, stop and sh uh, stop sharing for a second, then I make some brief changes I want on this presentation so that as I'm talking to you, I try to emphasize some uh, important uh, points while highlighting them. So this is what I want. Okay. So I'm going to share again, ladies and gentlemen, my screen to you. Okay. Yes. Then the last question that uh, someone may be asking him or herself is that question of how. How will I know that I've learned how to use Colibri? How will I implement Colibri in my institution? How will the learners benefit from this Colibri? How many uh, countries are also using this Colibri uh, learning platform? So the question is quite broad, but we shall make sure that in this training, all these three questions of what am I learning? Why should I go ahead and learn it? How should I learn it? How will I know that I've learned it? Those are our session questions that I'm going to answer. We shall start with the first question of what is Colibri? Just as uh, Mr. Mukarele Rogers has told us. Colibri is an open set of, uh, is an adaptable uh, set of open solutions. Open solutions. That with Colibri, there are a lot of uh, different resources that we can access. Uh, this set of adaptable open solutions are specifically developed to support learning, that is very important, to support learning for half of the world. And as we are doing this uh, teaching and learning, or as Colibri is supporting learning, this learning takes place without any internet connections. Yes, without internet connections. We have some other platforms where we can access them with 
uh, internet connections. But Colibri is centered around an offline fast learning that Colibri platform gives this offline uh, as a priority. It takes offline learning as one of the priority for learning. You have watched that video of that young girl uh, trying to tell us how she was benefiting from this platform. So we shall also look at how can we utilize this in our schools that we have this platform installed in our schools and we are utilizing this platform offline without any internet requirements, without any data, without any internet connections. Then we should also take note that Colibri runs on a variety of low cost. Even if you have that cheap computer of yours, even if that machine is an old model machine, this Colibri is designed to run on all such uh, types of devices that we are having. However, at the moment, the app for phones are not yet there. Then we can also look at Colibri as an open educational resource a platform. It provides us with that library of open educational resources where you and me can go and access these resources free of charge. Where you and your students can go and access the resources. Where a teacher can refer the student to go and check for these resources, most especially just like at this time. That's when we can say we need those platforms that can be accessed online. The one which can be accessed offline, it means we need to have this Colibri installed on our computers. So this is a link you will check out uh, more about those open educational resources. Then we can also look at Colibri as a tool, a toolkit of resources. If you look at all the statements, they are looking at a toolkit supporting training and implementation where in, in the formal, informal, and non-formal learning environment. So that is how great this Colibri is. So that is briefly what we can look at when we ask ourselves what Colibri is. Open solutions designed to support learning without internet connection. It provides open educational resources. If I have that low cost device of mine, I can still have this Colibri working on that device. If I have that old machine of mine, provided that machine is working and you're using it to perform different tasks, this Colibri will run on that uh, particular device of yours. Let it be in the formal, informal, and the non-formal learning environment. Why Colibri Learning Platform? Yes, Colibri Learning Platform, first of all, we have said it runs on as many devices as possible. That's why we are trying to look at it. That's why we are calling upon we, the teachers and the educators, to try to work with this or to work with this Colibri Learning uh, Platform. We have already looked at Colibri supporting self-paced learning. Your learner doesn't need you to be there. The learner doesn't need the teacher to be close to him or to her. All they need is this 
kind of platform. All they need is Colibri in school. You can create an e-library that is powered by Colibri and you'll find Colibri supporting that self-paced learning. Learners learning at their own pace. Colibri enables sharing of educational resources. We have already looked at Colibri as one of the open educational resource platform. So these resources can be accessed freely and thus we can end up saying we need this Colibri learning platform because it enables us, the educators, the teachers, to share these educational resources. Colibri runs on most types of operating system. Those who have Windows 7, Colibri is going to run on your machine. If you have eight, it will run. If you have 10, it will work. Even if it is 11, the new release, still you will have this Colibri running on that particular machine of yours with that type of operating system that you are using. The good thing with this Colibri is that there is no payment that is required for you to use Colibri. No monthly subscription, no paying for anything. All you need is to have that uh, installer on your computer. All you need is to make sure you get the resources downloaded or imported onto that platform. Nothing like payments when it comes to Colibri learning platform. Like I've said, there is no need for internet connections. You find that most people say internet data is expensive. Yes, the solution is now Colibri learning platform. That is the solution. Even if you're in an area where internet cannot reach, provided you have this software installed on your computer, your learners will be in a position to use this platform. Your school, will be in a position to use this platform without any internet connections. Then uh, while using this Colibri, it is also very easy to navigate. It is easy to navigate this platform. Just you go ahead and work with what we call channels. We are going to look at channels. When we talk of channels, what are they? On Colibri learning platform, all the materials are organized in what we call a channel. So you create a channel and then you create inside what you call the topics. The topics are just like the subfolders within a given folder. So the main folder I can say is a channel, then inside that channel you find there the topics. So they are very easy to work with. You may be asking yourself how many countries and students is Colibri reaching? The answer is Colibri is reaching over 200 countries in the world. Then I will ask you, is your country among these over 200 countries, I think you are now trying to figure it out. The answer, if yes, I will ask you also another question. Are your students or your learners or your educators one of these learners benefiting from this platform? So in our country, Uganda, we have that good news that first of all, uh, the National Association of Christian Schools together with Edify have already a platform. And we have schools 
which have already created resources and posted on that platform. And their students are now benefiting from the platform. So the answer is yes, Uganda, which is our country, is one of the over 200 countries that are benefiting from this Colibri learning platform. Then you are saying Colibri is serving millions of learners and educators. Just like I asked you, are your learners among those millions? Are you among the millions? Are you ready to be among these millions? Are you ready to make your learners also to be among these million learners that Colibri is serving? The answer should be a yes. Because one, these million, millions of learners and educators, where are they? These are the people or the learners and educators in areas where internet is costly. So we don't want schools to keep on saying, ah, internet is very expensive, we cannot manage. The solution now is Colibri. These educators and learners are in area where internet is unreliable. These educators and the learners are in areas where internet is simply beyond reach that it is very hard to find them even accessing this internet. So those are the kinds of learners and educators who are benefiting from this Colibri. Yes, you may say my school is already having internet access. Yes, we, we still encourage you to have this kind of library in that library that you have. And this library should be Colibri powered, that a learner will go on a PC and try to access these resources, even when you and me, we are not there. I've already asked you this question and hope you have answered it. Whether your learners, if you're a teacher, are they benefiting from Colibri? If you are a principal, are your educators benefiting from Colibri? If the answer is no, what do we plan to do now that we are looking at Colibri learning platform? Then how does Colibri reach these people whom we are saying they are disconnected? Who are the disconnected people? The disconnected people are those people whom we have said are in areas where internet is expensive. They're in areas where internet is unreliable or unstable. They're in areas where internet is simply beyond reach. So how can we get Colibri reach those disconnected people? So the first answer is, all the steps we have to follow is one, we have to be with what you're calling Colibri installer. Now, once you get this Colibri installer, the installer is that software for Colibri. Then you get the updates. What shall we be updating? Those are the contents. So when you install or download this installer, you are going to put the contents in that particular software. So that's why here we are saying Colibri installers, updates and contents can be downloaded. Stroke imported. Once to a device in an area that has an internet connection. So you can go to a place or at the school, you can get some data. You download this Colibri. You install that Colibri on your computers. You can import the contents 
If you already have the contents, you can just add those contents onto that colibri, but the steps are also there. Then after you've installed and added the contents, then your next step is to do what we call peer-to-peer -peer distribution. Now, in this case, we shall have a term known as seeded device. A seeded device is now that machine which has colibri. That machine where you have installed your colibri. So that seeded device can then share new contents and those updates with other devices over an offline local network. So in this second stage, you do not need any internet. Internet is only needed here, it's downloaded and you import the resources onto the device. Once this seeded device is already having the resources, the rest of the machines will be in a position to share those contents without any internet connections. Then you may be asking yourself, now, how about this person who is in a remote area? Yes, to reach the most remote communities, a device can be carried by foot to share the installers, updates and contents with other devices over local networks. Still here, no need for any internet connections. So if I'm here in Ruero and I have a friend of mine in Ruero town and he or she wants, what I only do is to go to him or to her. Then this person will go ahead and access these resources without any internet connections. Yes, we have talked about sharing these resources, downloading these contents and importing them on that uh, machine. There is what we call the Colibri Studio. All these that we shall be doing, you need to have what we call a Colibri Studio account. A Colibri Studio account will help you in such a way that this studio provides you or is a tool that is used to organize the learning resources, all those contents that you have. It is that particular studio where we shall go ahead and build the channels for Colibri. So once you have this account and you have your resources, the first thing we do is to upload our resources onto the studio. That is if you now want to have your own resources added onto that installed Colibri on your PC or on your computer. So you send these resources to the studio. The studio organizes these resources of yours. Then how do I import? We look, we use what we call the tokens. So you obtain a token, and then this token will help you to get those resources added onto that colibri that you have on your computer. There are videos for all these things I'm talking about, so you will be in position to watch them. Colibri Studio can also be looked at as an open source platform specially designed to provide offline access to educational content. So that is the Colibri Studio that uh, by the end of this training, we need to have the account created on the studio. We shall watch that video as well. Now that we have looked at what Colibri is, why, why have it in our schools? How does this Colibri reach the disconnected? 
So what's next? That is the question we are having. What is next? So the next thing is we are going to look at Colibri resources that are online. It is important to note that these resources are for pre-primary schools. Primary schools, secondary school resources are all available, especially on this platform by National Association of Christian Schools in Uganda. Which kind of resources can we have on this Colibri learning platform or in our Colibri powered library? We can have the text-based resources. And here you will not upload Microsoft Word or Excel documents. You have to convert them to PDF files. We have the audio resources. We have the video resources. Even you can add the images. We have the audio visual resources as well. So those are the different types of resources that we can add on that you call it Brie, our library in our schools in or at our homes as well. Because right now people are using this Colibri even at home. Before we can look at these different platforms, I'm going to share with you uh, one of the experience uh, that that is Kenya's experience and we we see what Kenya has been doing last year during the lockdown what the educators are, are saying so then we shall after there we shall look at this platform for national association of christian schools then we look at that platform that is provided by UNICEF together with the government. Here are the links to take us there. After, we shall look at offline Colibri powered library. If I install, how will I use this Colibri? So let's go and look at that, then we shall come to this screen again. Okay, so I have the video for Kenya's experience here. Uh, I wish to know whether the video sound is heard. Rogers, is it hard? Oh, well, the video is not yet on. Okay. Yes, you share share the video. Okay. Mm. So let me try to share the video members. Can we see it now? Yeah. Yes. Is the sound there? I want to be sure. Yes, yes, just put yes. full screen of well. Okay, please. Thank you. My name is Diana Pino. I'm the programs manager at Elimu. And um, I'm very excited about Colibri. Colibri is a software that enables us to track uh, the individual performance and impact on a student. And I believe it's a powerful and helpful tool that can assist our community in improving the grades for the young learners. My name is Polly Nogango. I am the program officer for education. Colibri is a platform that allows students to access uh, different content. My name is Maina Gikaria. I'm the head of uh, ICT here at the uh, Resource Center, also part of EduTech. My role in Colibri is just to make sure that everything is set, the program is running, and it's getting to the desired client. 
that Corebre it has helped us a lot because you can use it and it is flexible. The thing that I like about Olive is that it has a lot of content and it's easy to understand. It has helped us in improving our grammars. I love Colibri since it has many content and its contents are easy to understand. It can match just. I love Colibri because learning using it is simple. Colibri has helped me a lot. I love it a lot. The contents are very easy to read and understand and understand sorry more than the ones in the just textbooks. Good. It's easy to understand, flexible. I love it. I love Colibri. 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 Colibri flies in Kenya. And with that, I can say Colibri flies in Kenya. Yes, so uh, you've seen uh, the, uh, how Kenya is working with Colibri. So we also should not be uh, left behind. So for those who are uh, going to get started with building uh, the Colibri powered library, we have to take note of the following things. Uh, one, we are saying that uh, if you decide to have a Colibri installed on your PC, I've provided the different, uh, two different versions of Colibri on uh, Edify, Teachers E-Learning, uh, Training, all sections, that is the Google Drive name, uh, those uh, software uh, there. So the old version of Colibri, works well on Windows 7. So if you have Windows 7, you're going to see that old version, you download it from that Google Drive and try to get it installed on your computer. Then the new version of Colibri will work well uh, starting from Windows 8 to 10. Uh, this is based on uh, my experience with these uh, two different uh, versions. So as we start on building, if you have a PC and you have Windows 7, please work with this old version. Then if you have Windows 8, try to get the new version, which is uh, provided here. Uh, check on this uh, particular link, we shall provide you, or you can just go to uh, Google Drive with this name, Edify Teachers E-Learning Training All Sections. You'll be able to find there a folder named uh, Colibri Resources. So from there, you download uh, that particular uh, software based on your PC. Here we shall do this, as, uh, we shall also find some important tutorials on Colibri software. These are just clickable links. When you click, uh, you'll be in a position to have your browser open. So members, I'm going to open uh, first the, uh, this link for Naxu, and we try to see the resources that are available on this platform. So, I'll stop sharing that screen so that I first have everything set very fine for us. Uh, okay, meanwhile, uh, Mr. Gwell, as you open that. Yes, please. I uh, just want to share something small. Um, so members, uh, during this lockdown, uh, when uh, students came back home, uh, I installed Colibri on my desktop here at home. I installed the Colibri. And uh, when I installed the Colibri, Colibri, you can install it the way you install uh, any program like 
any program from the internet, like VLC, like they install any other software. So you search on Google Colibri, you go to a website of learning quality, that is the company which makes Colibri, and then you download it. Now you install, it's easy to install on Windows and other platforms. So when I installed it, I, I went in as an admin, there's an option for importing uh, channels. So I found a lot of channels already on the Colibri. Uh, there are some people who make materials in the whole world. Uh, they put there a lot of materials. But what surprised me, I found materials even for my language, uh, Lugwele, they are there, Luganda, uh, Jopadola, every language in Uganda. There are books, textbooks, there are, uh, there are materials for, for learning. So when you go there, you'll find uh, textbooks, you'll find videos, You'll find the um, you'll find the material. So when I when I downloaded these materials, my, my children here yeah, they just <laughs> they go there and they they watch they they watch the, the educative videos. They even have books they, they read uh, and uh, they have some material. So I have a digital library on the desktop there. Uh, many of us normally have computers and learners. Uh, we are with children at home. We don't know what they can do. Uh, so it can be hard. Learners go to the computers, they're just playing games, but you can transform that desktop at your home into a resourceful item that learners, there's no internet on the, I, I just use internet only when I'm installing. Then after that, I, I load all the channels onto the, just like uh, some of us have had, um, have had some uh, softwares in the past, like Encarta, like Britannica, which had a lot of content offline. So this is a, a, a something that you can uh, make. You can put, then you can even add your own materials also for your learners. So yesterday we were looking at YouTube and we were seeing how YouTube is very good for the for us as teachers. But YouTube requires internet all, all through. But Colibri is an option that you can load once and use forever. So Mr. Gual, you can show us uh, some of those, an example of a, a channel of a Colibri, if you install what you can have. Right now, this one is online, but uh, when you install it on your computer, all that thing, all that material will be offline and you no longer need internet to, to be opening it. Yes, thank you very much, uh, Rogers. Uh, I beg to start with this one of uh, uh, National Christian Association. So I'm going to share that particular uh, screen. So the links are there. All you need to do is to type in this uh, address, you say elearning.naxu.org. You will be in a position to have this kind of screen, as you can see from mine. So from here, uh, I was talking about uh, channels. Uh, if you see from this particular tab, the name is channels. So what we find here are the channels. Like I said, within the channels, there are some uh, subtopics, or I can call them uh, uh, folders. So we have the channel for how to get started with Colibri. So if you want to know more about Colibri, you would like to understand uh, what Colibri is when we say a learner, when we talk of a coach, when we talk of an admin, what, uh, what is the role of an admin, what is the role of a coach, what is the role of a learner. So that is under this particular channel. Then we have uh, these other channels using the studio. We have a pre-primary education channel. This is very interesting. I will first show you the different channels. Uh, we have inclusive education resources. Then we also have this. We have UNICEF, Uganda, my school. Uh, they are looking at primary four. Then FET interactive simulations. Uh, this channel is really very interesting in that uh, there are some kind of uh, practicals that maybe a teacher may not uh, be in a position to do directly the class. So you can 
try to watch and get a way of integrating such kind of videos in your lesson. Then we have uh, TESA, that is uh, Teach Education in South Africa, uh, in Sub Saharan Africa. This is the channel, African Storybooks. We have Jesus. Uh, Mr. Mr. Gwal. Yes, please. First of all, that African Storybooks that I was talking about, which uh which are my children my children here so oh, yes. uh, you can go down uh first go down so you find i i they are imported a few sub uh, languages but there, there are many a... many languages there's luganda yeah. and yeah. They, they are all those stories that we used to get from our grandmothers well illustrated yes. books uh so that your learners can be reading during the lockdown to understand and learn all these yeah. You can go back, and it's just a, a few which we imported. There are very many channels. We just chose a few, uh, yeah. depending on the space on the computer. Yes, uh, thank you very much, Rogers. Uh, then, going back to channels, uh, we have other channels. I was talking about uh, the different schools that are in Uganda that have already uploaded their resources. We have your Triple J School learning material uh we have little stars we have nursery material mm. other, others we first removed they were just trying out but we are going to be publishing mm. yes so this is a platform where you can really uh, access the resources recommend to your uh, children or to all or students and they come and check i also have uh, here a channel with some resources and this one is also one of the channel uh, that we created together with uh, my friend, the consultant in the Department of Education that is under Wero Diocese. So we have okay. some, some resources there. Uh, given the fact that this is a, a Christian school platform, so we cannot fail to add or integrate such kind of videos so these are some videos as you can see i'm going to play just a single video rogers and okay. we, we we try to see what is in that video if my internet stability is there so i'll play That day when evening came, he said to his disciples, let us go over to the other side. Leaving the crowd behind, they took him along just as he was in the boat. There were also other boats with him. A furious squall came up and the waves broke over the boat so that it was nearly swamped. Jesus was in the stern, sleeping on a cushion. The disciples woke him and said to him, Teacher, don't you care if we drown? He got up, rebuked the wind, and said to the waves, Quiet, be still. Then the wind died down, and it was completely calm. He said to his disciples, Why are you so afraid? Do you still have no faith? They were terrified and asked each other, Who is this? Even the wind and the waves obey him. Yeah, so that is it. Uh, the good thing uh, with these videos or these resources uh, they can be as well downloaded, just as Rogers told us. So if you 
feel you need the video, you can use this download resource button and you get such kind of resource uh, downloaded and you share it with Mr. Your... Yes, sir. Uh, there's one last channel there at the bottom. Uh, in the we which we are collaboratively working on uh, with the teachers, uh, the teachers who are teaching uh, under this program, uh, you can raise up your hands in the chat and they see you. We are putting some materials here. Uh, the, uh, teachers who are teaching the Edify e classes project, and I'm seeing a number of them here who have joined us uh, for this session. Um, um, in the chat here, I see uh, Mr. Maluma, I saw uh, Madam Ayazika Robina, I saw uh, the number of teachers here who have joined us uh, for this special session. So we are collaboratively working on a channel uh, to put materials offline, which learners, even after the, 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 the Zoom lessons are over, I can see Mr. Moses Musamali uh, in the, here joining us. And others. So, um, Mr. Mgumia Oswald, yeah. So, we are going. We are going to be putting their videos and uh, uh, self-study materials that learners can. And this, after we have put it here on the NACSH, which is online on the internet, we shall install Colibri offline in a school, maybe in in in, in Rubaga or in Jinja. We install Colibri on your computer, and then we synchronize everything which is on, on the NACSHU, comes offline in your school locally. And you can also guide your parents uh, who can who can manage, who have computers, they install it offline. So learners who can access, just like the video we saw of Desire of Chualeda Primary School, who was just going to the school to access the mobile station. Uh, learners can be coming to your school and they access the, the, the Colibri installation and they get a lot of materials which they can read. Parents who have laptops can install and they can synchronize. Uh, Colibri allows syncing uh, content from one particular installation to another. So we are working on this project and uh, be checking. We are going to be putting some good materials in that folder. Mr. Luanga there is, is the, uh, our director of studies in the e-classes there. So we are doing some great work. Mr. Madam Bashabiri Mary also, I see she has joined us. So Mr. Ogwal, I think now you can go to how do we install Colibri and show the assignment. Maybe you first show the assignment okay. so that people can know what they are going to do. And then we just give some little guidance on how they will do that. Yes. In the afternoon, when we come back, we shall discuss more about how we can collaborate uh, so uh, you go back to the slides and uh, you show the assignment. Okay. Thank you very much, John uh, Rogers, for that input. Uh, okay. Here is our assignment that we are going to, to do. Uh, the assignment here, the first one here is telling us we are going to create an account on Colibri Studio. I'll share the video on that, how you can uh, access the Colibri Studio and get your account created. So after creating, uh, members, uh, whether you have a laptop or, or a phone, you can still go ahead and create uh, an account on the studio. Then uh, part B, we shall also request, uh, we also, uh, have this assignment of creating a channel on that particular Colibri Studio account that you have created. So inside uh, your channel, you're going to add a topic and some PDF file and a video of the previous lesson. So that is uh, our assignment for you. And, and maybe Mr. Gual, Yes, sir. They will publish this channel, and what they will submit on Google Classroom is the token. Uh, the yes. channel token is what we shall need uh, on Google Classroom uh, as right. their, their output. Okay. Uh, I want to, uh, let me just do something here. Let me just do some little sharing here so that. Yes. Uh, yes. Please also take them through how to create that channel. That's yeah, okay. that's what I'm trying. I just want to show something small here. Uh, our time is up. 
Uh, but also, Mr. Ogwal, uh, when you go to your uh, Google Classroom, mm. Mr. Ogwal has posted the, a lot of um, uh, content and guiding material. For example, when you go to your, all of us here already have access to the, to the uh, Google Classroom. So Mr. Ogwal has put here, in this story, you learn how to download Colibri, install it on your computer. So, and then he has put some video here. If you click on that video, it shows you how to do it. So members, when you come for this one hour, and I told you this from the beginning, don't expect that you are going to teach you everything in the one hour. One hour is a debrief to tell you what is supposed to be done. And we give you materials. You are supposed to take time. And- uh, Hello everyone. In today's to you do uh, what uh, you are supposed to do, you invest some time in the training. But uh, if you just come and you only attend for an hour and then you come back at five, you're not attending, doing any assignments. You are going to finish this two weeks training when you are the way you started. Uh, because for you, you think you want to learn in the one hour only. You are supposed to invest time and learn some of these things. So we have provided the, a step-by-step -step tutorial here. Uh, on Colibri Studio, on Google Classroom, there is a tutorial on that. The, the assignment uh, which has just been posted is here. Uh, so you should be able to come and find some of these materials. But uh, simply what you are going to be doing is, you are going to go to, uh, to Google uh, because Google is your um, learning uh, page on the internet. You type in the word Colibri. Uh, by the way, there is a, there's another Colibri that uh, Mr. Gwal never, maybe because of time, there's this one here, e-learning uh, uganda.org. This one is showing up on Colibri because the, uh, it, it, it has been there. The one of, of Christian School Owners Association has not yet uh, fired up here on the homepage, but very soon uh, as we add more content, it will be there. So this one is the other. And if you go to this one of Uganda, you'll see the materials there. But what you need when you go to Google, you go to this first option above, learningequality.org, you'll be able to see uh, Colibri. So when you click on that, you'll be able to see uh, where you can get uh, Colibri if you are to install Colibri on your, the way I did on my computer at home, I went there and then when I reached here, I find what Colibri is all about, a learning platform which runs on anything. You, we even, you can even be put on, you can have a lot of content, Khan Academy, all those channels. There are many channels there that you can get. So what you do, you click on the download button. So when you click on the download button, it is going to bring a download. Uh, if you are using a computer, you'll be able to get the download. Now this one here is to install Colibri on your computer and then you may be able to import channels and have a digital library at your home. So you download it here and then you install. It takes a few minutes. It is around 123 MBs. And so you can be able to install uh, that uh, Colibri uh, onto your computer. Now this software here, it, yeah, it, the setup, it will install. And then the materials, the, the guidelines on how to do that, Mr. Ogal has a complete, uh, he actually created, um, you can also access the, you can also access some of this material on his website, ictu.com slash Colibri e-learning. It has the complete guide on how you can be able to set up that. So it will download, it's, see here, it is just taking a few seconds to finish downloading. So Mr. Gual, this is Mr. Gual's website. He has created a, a, a ICT in the simple, simple steps, Colibri e-learning platform tutorial. There's a first video here on exploring resources on Colibri. There's a second video here, installing it on your computer. There's another one here, creating an account on Colibri Studio. The assignment for today is under this. Uh, the, the one for today, we just want Colibri Studio. Then we have uh, what next after installing Colibri, how do you import other channels? And then uh, how do you add your own resources, creating your own resources? So a complete guide is there. If you don't want to invest in time uh, to do some learning, then don't go to this website. Don't go there to watch those videos. Just come back at five and tell us that you have failed to do anything and we shall be very happy to see you. But if you want to learn, go to, to, go to the Google Classroom, 
click on the resources that have been given to you and then uh, do some work. It is, it is not complex. So this is the, 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 the software after downloading it, if you double click on it here, it is going to uh, launch just like you install any other software on the computer. It is going to launch and then you are going to be ready to, to go uh, to install uh, Colibri and test it out. And uh, you will make your computer, you turn it from just a computer for watching movies to a computer with a digital library which learners can be uh, able to find the books and materials being created by different people in the world. Now, this is that, that is that part of making the digital library that you are going to do in the school. So Colibri will come, you install after that, you'll be an admin, you who has installed. So to tell you that there's need for Python, you, you go next. When you install, you'll be the admin, then you'll be able now to import channels and then you'll have them on your computer in that video. But for the assignment that Mr. Ogwal has given, uh, let me let me just see. So the assignment that Mr. Ogwal has given, you are going to be going to Colibri Studio. Instead of going to Colibri, uh, you'll be going to Colibri Studio. Colibri Studio, is the place where channels are made. So after you have installed your Colibri on your computer, it will ask you to import channels. The channels are made from Colibri Studio. So this is Colibri, which is being installed here, uh, already just a few MBs. So for, yeah, that's the setup, it takes some time. But you will go to Colibri Studio. Colibri Studio is the place where channels are made like the Jesus is a great channel, like the channel having content of Edify teachers, which I showed you earlier, which we explored. So this is Colibri Studio. Now for me, I already have an account and uh, I have a number of channels here, uh, which I, I create and each channel, if you click on a channel, it brings what you call uh, a, a channel token. If you click on channel token, you get a token. That token is what you use to go and import on your computer after installing Colibri. So what you do, you go to Colibri Studio. For me, I was already logged in. Let me sign now. The way you create an account on Gmail, the way you create an account uh, on any other website uh, that you have an account on, you come here and you create an account on Colibri Studio. So you search for, uh, you search for Colibri Studio, and you open an account, it will ask you to activate your account. So Colibri uh, Studio, this is where you get the tokens from. So you go to Colibri Studio, and then when you go to Colibri Studio, you, you'll be able to, uh, you see, for me already I have an account. For you, if you are new here, you click on create account. So when you say create account, you fill in your name, your last name, your email, um, and then um, you, 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 you fill in there, you get an account and then you'll be able to log in into uh, Colibri Studio. Yeah, so when you enter Colibri Studio, you'll be able to create a channel and uh, be able to create the materials that are needed. So, so you just come here and you fill in first name, last name, email, password, uh, how do you plan to use Colibri Studio? You can say, I want to organize my materials. I want to create exercises. By the way, Colibri is not just about materials. It also has options of creating quizzes, just like Google Forms. You can create quizzes. A teacher can create a class. There are other things, actually. You can use Colibri also as a, uh, as a learning money, just the way we use Google Classroom. There are those other features which we have not explored now, but uh, the videos are there on the NAPSHU website. So you can create a class, even learners can have accounts, you put their next exam, they submit, the, everything, Colibri is also more, can also work as a, a learning management system. Uh, where do you plan to use Colibri? You say, yeah, I want to use it in Uganda, and then you specify uh, all these, how did you hear about us? Uh, okay, yeah, you can say maybe it was a conference, I don't know if it was an organization, then you put there edify, edify Uganda. Okay, if they ask you, where did you hear about Colibri? You tell them, I heard it from edify Uganda because this is an edify training. Then you say, I've read the instructions and then you click on finish. So when you do that, they are going to create for you an account. 
an account that you, uh, after that, then you can be able to sign in into your account. So when you sign into your account, you should be able to create a channel. The channel, you can put a number of things on that channel. You can put videos, you can put documents, you can put good materials. So this is the, how you create a channel. You click on create new channel. And uh, at this point of create new channel, uh, here you can put a photo, which can be like a featured image. It is not compulsory, you may leave it. A channel that could be like the icon of that before someone opens. If it is a school, you can put your school badge, but you can put something. If it is biology, you can put a photo of uh, maybe the hat or the skeleton. If it is SST, you can put a photo of a map to represent the channel, if a picture that uh, depicts the channel. Yeah, then in, you put in your channel, uh, you, you call uh, the channel. Um, so uh, right now we are dealing this as teachers, but you can do it as a school. If it is a school, you can say uh, home study. Because this channel, you are going to send this token to your parents uh, so that the home study materials, you, you can create a channel as a school. You put in some good materials, some self-study materials and everything. Then you organize a, a, a Zoom session with your teachers, your parents, you tell them, install Colibri just like they have been installing here. Install Colibri on your computer. So this is the, the installation is, is proceeding. And after installing, you give them this token. They will import and everything that you put inside this channel will be on their computers and they will be able to, uh, to, to, to have them offline. So you put there your English, you say, uh, so here I can say, uh, let me just say Itau, uh, Itau Online School, Home Study Materials, okay? Then I come here and I say, uh, channel description, and I say, uh, this contains some work for parents. Mm -hmm. uh, then you, 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 you put some description, um, you put whatever is contained there. We have what you call the copy, the author. The author, you can, if it is a name or you can put a school, if it is a school. Um, yeah, so you say uh, Itau Online uh, School, if that is your school. Uh, so you put there, provider, aggregator, these other things, you can leave them blank. The license here, you can choose uh, public domain or you can choose the, uh, all rights reserved. If it is your content as a school, you can choose. A, but if I'm putting something for public consumption, which I want everyone to use, I can say public domain. Then you create. So once you create the channel, so now this is Colibri Studio, where you organize and create a channel. After that, this channel is going to be imported into uh, the Colibri. So from here, it will ask you, uh, add to start building your channel. Yeah, so you can click on add. It is a very simple interface. The best advantage of Colibri as compared to other softwares for e-learning is that this one has a clean interface and you can easily, there are not, not many things on the interface. So new topic, before you upload the files, click a new topic. Now, if this is a channel for a school, it may be better for you to organize your materials in classes. Uh, so a topic here is a folder, if a topic is a folder. So don't be co confused to start putting there uh, a topic like maybe germination as a topic. No, a topic here is a folder. So yeah, I can say uh, making materials for uh, all level, or I can put uh, classes like P1, uh, or if your school starts from P1, then I say P1 materials, you see? Yeah, so I put P1 materials. Then I don't need to put a tag. Audience, you need to put this part of E of language. Make sure that you put the language and then you are good to go. So you click on finish at the bottom. Now, whatever I'm telling you here, Mr. Gual has already done it in the tutorial. So don't even say that I'm fast because the video, which is very slow, which you can replay is there in Google, even right now you can check your phone, it is there already in your Google Classroom. The video is there. So what I'm doing here is just uh, a quick overview uh, for you. So you create a folder like that for P1, then when you enter the P1, uh, you come okay and say, okay, let me add something now, let me upload, let me upload something. So you come and you say select files. 
and then you upload the, uh, something, some good package that you have organized for your parents uh, so that they can be passed through this lockdown. Maybe you don't, your parents cannot manage uh, Zoom uh, data and all those things every day, but uh, they can be able to access some device, some device at home, which learners can be uh, playing. Yeah, so you can just create a Colibri channel and then you send them uh, something. So I don't have uh, uh, P1 materials here. Let me see what I can upload. Uh, let me upload this one here. Yeah, so I can upload a document, I can upload a video. Yeah, so I put it on the channel. I, I give it a good title as well. Remember this material is going to be accessed by parents offline. Uh, they will just import it once on their computers and then so you put this, uh, you don't forget to put language. Language, always put language, otherwise it will give you problems. So after I've finished putting that, I think that is good enough. The title description I can put, uh, okay. Yeah, I can put a uh, description, I may, yeah, I click on finish. So I've created the, an account on Colibri Studio. Uh, okay, it is saying uh, an incomplete resource. I think I did choose the copyright, the copyright here. Um, the copyright here you, you put there, uh, itau, because you say the all, all rights reserved. So that's why it is asking for this. If you had said public domain, it would not ask for the copyright. So that is a, a material that I've put. After that, you click on publish, and then you say it is in versions. Eh? Added first set uh, of P1 materials. Okay, so good. So I click on publish. So when I click on publish, my channel is going to be published. And uh, I have uh, what you call a token. So it has finished publishing my channel. Now my parents can be able to import it on their computers, or I can be able to import it on those computers at school in the school library. So you click in the corner there, you see what called get token. This part of get token enables you to be able to uh, get the token. But before I show that get token, there is this part of share channel. In the case you want to build this uh, channel with other teachers, maybe for, uh, you are the head teacher or the those who are set up the channel, but you want to add other teachers to put in materials for other classes, you click on this part of share channel and you put in their emails so that as you are putting P1, you just put their emails here. As you are putting P1, just like we did in Google Drive, collaboration. As you are putting P1, they can be putting P2. So you can share, you can share that particular channel uh, with these members. After that, you get the token. So this token here is what you are going to use. In this assignment, we want you to just give us the token. That is going to be the end of the assignment. So we want a token by five. Uh, if you can get a token, you will have finished the assignment. For me, I've done the assignment in 10 minutes, but for you have uh, more than, uh, uh, I don't know how many hours, up to five, that you can be able to just create a Colibri Studio account and then create a channel like P1, put there something, get a token. Uh, if you do that, you will be ready. So on this computer here, offline, it has also finished installing. So I, if I was doing the, also the offline computer bit, now I can go ahead and uh, import uh, this particular channel into my Colibri. So here in the channels, if I go back to my Colibri studio, I have, it will be able to show me the channels that I have created. Uh, there is this one here, which I told you earlier for the one which you are working on with other teachers collaboratively uh, under the Edify e classes project. Uh, the other option which I was telling you about sharing is also there. You can be able to see how many teachers are working on this particular channel. We are creating materials for all classes. And after that, we shall be able to share this on the Christian School Owners Association website and even all the partner schools, all these teachers here are uh, working on it. Uh, as you can see their names here, uh, collaboratively, we are working on this channel and we are going to be adding in more members. So. Uh, so we can, we can make us as teachers to work together and then we can be able to support our, our parents. So after you have finished installing your Colibri, uh, Colibri on your computer, um, you can open it. So it has, as I've been explaining the Colibri Studio bit, 
it has also been installing here and um, maybe we shall explore let me leave that maybe because of time uh, i wanted i wanted to, to even show you that bit and you see uh, but my computer here sometimes slows down when i do a lot but at the bottom here you can see at the bottom here it brings this icon colibri after you have installed it so after that you click on uh, load in browser or you can say run colibri at system setup you say load in browser load in browser even if i turn off my internet now this colibri which has installed it is now on my computer here it is going to open in the browser and then i can be able to uh go ahead i'll log in as an admin and then i can be able to import uh the channel uh which is there it, it uses those of you who have done uh web uh web stuff it uses uh, uh local host it uses something like local host uh that is what it uses it runs as local host just those of you who have done uh web, web programming you you will be able to see that it uses a local host and it uses a particular port um that it uses so i can say run it will bring this thing and i say allow access and then it is going to open in the browser here and then from there i will be able to proceed and i import my channel so whatever i was doing so it will bring what you call uh, a, a setup what you call a setup wizard so this is now offline you see here 127.0.0.1 colon 8080 setup wizard this setup wizard comes only the first time so i can say let me just say a quick start then i say um uh, i'm going to say um, Kalele home library so this is now me a parent so here i can say i can put there my name Mukalele. i can put in it now this is on my computer so i can be able to put my password here this is the password which I'll be using me as the parent to log in whenever I want to add more materials for my children at home. So it installs this Colibri on your computer here offline. Then after that, we are going to be able to create a channel uh, to, to import our channel, which we created. OK, so import. So now we are ready to import now on our computer. So uh, I'm going to you click on Colibri Studio online. You click on continue. And then from there, you paste the token that you have got from uh, the Colibri. Like, for example, I can get this token for this, what these teachers are doing. I can also import uh, our token. Now, when you reach here at this point of importing, these are the channels I was telling you, which are already there for you to import. We have this one called Khan Academy. It has videos teaching everything, fetch animations, uh point to all these ones here there are very many channels uh, made by people or in different parts of the world uh there is a channel which which interested me from kenya uh which has uh, ubongo kids and uh and uh and and, and uh, akili those videos you normally see on, on tv which teach literacy they are there so you just import these ones and then you can you check through these channels they have good reading materials uh that you can be able to use with your learners so so this is if i say uh uh let me say ubongo 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 this is the, the one i was saying ubongo kids this one if i say select resources these are educative materials if you have young children at home this lockdown if you give them the ubongo package they will not want anything from you and by the time they go back to school they will be knowing the english the mathematics uh so this is going to be teaching them offline but it is 24 gb in size we have for english akili and me and others very good videos so this is 24 gb this particular channel if you are to import this you need you need to load a bundle uh at night and it imports for me actually i left it at night and it imported I loaded the Samlika mobile data here and I managed to import. So, yeah, what you need really, books, the other books I was telling you of, um, of, of uh, which are even in my language, they are also here. If I say African, African storybook, they are here. So I can select from these materials, there are these ones in the public digital library, which uh, even actually Mr. Gual there has created the channel which he wants to appear in this. He has submitted it to learning equality so that his channel is also global. Even children in India can import it on their computers 
and you learn Word, Excel, and others. So this is Colibri offline, and uh, it is going to be importing. Now, let me not uh, import now because uh, I don't have. So instead of importing from these channels, which are global, the Khan Academy, the Blocker Games, this Blocker Games teaching teaches programming, eh? uh, something like Scratch kind of interface. Very many good materials here. So you can load these in your school and your school computers. They will no longer be useless computers with Microsoft Word only, but they will become a digital library where learners go. You don't need the internet. Uh, you saw you not be uh, worried of things like uh, Facebook, pornography, what? No, learners go there, they access, they use the computers, they learn, and you don't have to, to worry about what learners are accessing because they have loaded the right information. So when I put in my token, so this is the other of African. So when I put in my token, this is the other of African storybook. All the languages are here. This one is 17 GB, but you can download a few. You may say I want only this one, and then you, you get maybe it is one or 50, 500 MBs. Yeah, so you can be able to load this in your school. So uh, I was I was importing importing the other one of, of Itao primary, which I have which I have created. So I created this channel inside my Colibri Studio. So now I'm importing it now. So this is a school, it has created a channel. It has given this channel to parents and the parents are importing. This parent only has learners of P1, so the learner may decide to import only P1 materials. And then uh, the parent will go ahead and um, import. So once you import, these materials are going to be on your computer. So next time you visit uh, Colibri, Next time you visit, even an icon will appear on the desktop. Uh, next time you visit Colibri, you'll be able to find uh, the channel. This is now Colibri, which is now offline on your computer. And I have only one channel here, which is, and when I click on it, I'm having my P1. So here at home, my children, they, there's Colibri on the computer. I imported materials. Whenever I say, go and read, they use the computer, they read and they are very, very interested. So members have walked through the entire process and uh, I've told you that on Google Classroom, we have put materials on every step and we have put for you an assignment. Uh, the assignment for now is just Colibri Studio, but uh, you can also import and you have the Colibri Studio offline. Uh, so members, uh, Mr. Gual, I think I've tried to walk through that in a, in a few minutes already. We have shot by 30 minutes. In the afternoon, we expect you come back when you have opened the Colibri Studio account, we are going to do some collaboration and we are going to add ourselves onto a joint channel. We create more materials and we shall upload those materials onto the Christian School Owners Association for the benefit of everyone. Thank you very much. I, uh, let us, I don't know if uh, members have something in the chat. Mr. So well? Yes, Mr. So well. uh, just, just uh, yeah. Just to give a final word to the members, and then, um, and then we look at a few comments, and then we close. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Rogers, for that a great input, and I would like to thank all the participants who have turned up for this uh, Colibri training. All I can tell you is that the fact is that let's keep on moving. Uh, if you cannot fly, let, let us run. If you can't run, you can walk. If you can't walk, crawl. But by all means, let's keep on moving towards this uh, digital uh, migration. Let's not be left behind members. Uh, that is my last uh, comment to you. OK, thank you very much. Let us get one person from the members to give us, I don't know if there's any admin, Mr. Dennis, you have any communication? But if not, then we, we get some person to pray for us. You can put up your hand to pray for us and we go for lunch. Yes, Rogers. Um, thank you everyone for persevering for one and a half hours. I know it is not simple, but uh, I also want to thank the Tao team persisting it is from morning up to evening it's really tough on these guys and uh rogers and your team you've done really a great job so far with these teachers uh, we are just so grateful for whatever you are doing right now uh, 
let us keep turning up and responding well because these are things that will help us in future thank you so much i'll see you in the evening for the last session of the day thank you okay thank you maria lily please you uh close for us okay let's pray heavenly father we thank you for this wonderful moment thank you for everything thank you for our facilitators thank you for each and every one fathers we are breaking for lunch help us guide us what to do whatever we've learned in jesus name we've prayed amen